our Twitter poll question is focusing on that. We are asking you, do you think the dream of a united Africa is achievable? Do you think the dream of a united Africa is achievable? Tweet us at KTN News at Sophia Wanuna. And our reporter Zinzi Kibiku is covering Africa Day for us. She now joins us live from the Bomas of Kenya. Zinzi, good afternoon to you. Talk to us about what's happening at the Bomas. Good afternoon, Sophia. The event that was started around um, 1 p.m. this afternoon here in Nairobi at the Bomas of Kenya has just concluded about 20 minutes ago. We had different um, diplomats here, ambassadors that were representing their nations as we are marking um, uh, this specific Africa Day. And... Um, this specific Africa Day was a very important one in 2017 because it's also the first time that we are reintroducing or re-welcoming uh, Morocco into the African Union after 33 years of, of absence of fear. And this specific year, um, the theme for um, this celebration was harnessing the demographic dividend through investment in the youth. You take a look at Africa's population, 1.2 billion people as of May of this year. It's the second largest right after Asia and its population for young people, the average number out of that 1.2 billion, Sophia, is 19 years old. Africa is a very young country, or rather continent rather. And it, people are always asking, or rather analysts and experts, this young population that we're seeing within Africa, is it a ticking bomb or a chance of opportunity for this specific continent? Of course, a number of issues were raised during the different speeches that were made. Um, one of those issues was in regards to um, climate change that Africa is facing or rather how Africa is going to tackle these same issues, population growth control as well as trafficking, terrorism and those are just some of the challenges that were being highlighted by the different dip diplomats here. A few of the people that spoke was the Director General of the United Nations, Haile Wax, Ambassador Nkomani who is the Dean of the African, um, uh, African Dip Diplomatic Cooperation as well as Cecilia Karaoke, the CS of Public um, Youth Service Youth and Gender Affairs here in Kenya, all echoing the same sentiments that despite Africa's challenges, we should be concentrating on young people. Those are the key people within the African continent that will be taking charge despite the numerous um, challenges the continent has been facing. Um, despite that, this has been a day of celebration here at the Bomas Hotel. Um, right after the speeches that were made, Sophia, um, cake cutting rather followed right after and um, right now as we're speaking different diplomats are um, having their lunch as uh, some of them are also leaving the building Sophia right now to the poll questions in this day we're engaging on whether a united africa is achievable it was one of those we saw the late Gaddafi, a huge proponent of did that come up uh, in the session this afternoon well, uh, very good questions, um, uh, Sophia. When I was speaking to Sally Works, the Director General of the United Nation, and that's one of the questions that I, I, I asked her about, was the issue of Africa and being united, especially in specific challenges like security. And she said that she's very confident that Africa as a continent can become more united as we are seeing it right now. You take a look at Amisom and you take a look at some of the security places such as South Sudan and Somalia. You have African um, soldiers and African security on the ground, not only protecting but enforcing peace. So if we are going to talk about Africa being united, um, of course we're still having a long way to go, uh, but progress is being made, especially in the key front areas such as development and technology as well, and security, Sophia. Right. Many thanks, Zinzi Kibiku, live for us from the Bomas of Kenya, talking to us about Africa Day, that event that was held there, and Sicily Karaoke CS was one that was guest of honor amongst other leaders uh, that were gathered at the Bomas of Kenya. Now, Africans across the world are today celebrating Africa Day, as we mentioned. Then the 25th of May was set aside for an annual commemoration of the foundation of the Organization of African Unity, which is known as the African Union now. This will be the 54th commemoration of Africa Day, tracking the progress of AU's Agenda 2063, which advocates for judicious exploitation of the continent's resources to achieve set growth targets and is expected to dominate today's agenda. In the meantime, a new pan-African movement known as Africa Rising is set to be launched simultaneously across 32 countries, including Kenya. The notion for this movement and its name came from the IMF coined expression Africa Rising, which referred to rising GDP in African countries.
All right, in a short while we'll be talking more about the uh, Africa Day and with me in studio is Moses Isooba, who's Deputy Director, African Rising. So we'll be talking more about the launch of this in 32 countries.